this is Sean and what I'm working on today is I just bought a Toro power rake and this thing is in pretty rough shape it was missing some parts it's got a lot of worn out parts to it and I'm just kind of refurbishing it and getting it hooked up on my Bobcat so take a look so the first thing I did here was I cut off the dingo mount and I welded on this Bobcat mount so I'll show you that in a sec. The other thing, this was missing hoses. So I went to the hose place and got some hoses made up. I've got a few other parts and pieces for it. But the main thing is this bearing right here. You can't see it in there, but I've got it taken out. I guess you can kind of see it right there. But that bearing was garbage. And so I've got another one ordered. But what I'm working on right now is I want to get this gearbox cleaned out. So you can see, I did lube up the chain and tried to mess around with it and get it to spin. But it's just, there's a bunch of gunk in there. So I want to get this power washed and get some new grease in there. So that's what I'm working on right now. And I'm probably going to power wash the rest of the Mini as well. The Toro mount for the Dingo is, is this. I guess it goes this way. No, I think it goes that way. It goes that way. And so I didn't film it, but I just ended up plasma cutting that off of there. And you can see there, I just welded on a plate that is for this machine, this Bobcat. And so there's another one of these plates. I just picked these up locally from a skid steer attachment place and they're just, it's just a blank. And so I've had them around and was hoping I would find them an, att an attachment. So that's where this Harley rig came in. <clears throat> so ever since I pressure washed all this, I've been soaking this chain in WD-40 and trying to get it loosened up. When I first started this thing, the hydraulic motor wouldn't turn it. So... I was a little bit worried that something was messed up and there's still a few links that are pretty bound up in here. You can see right there, this one's bound up right there. And so I'm hoping once I get this back together and, and get it rolling that it will, and get some grease in there, that that chain will loosen back up. So what I'm working on today is <clears throat> I got some new parts here. So. Uh, some screws that I needed for these right for this right here. This is the the plate for the oil and an o-ring there. But the main thing I needed was this. This is a three hundred dollar bearing. Here's the old bearing, <clears throat> and I, again I took this to the bearing place, and he couldn't. He said he couldn't get anything like it. And so I had to go to Toro and get their, their part. So there's the new bearing. That was over $300 right there for that bearing. So hopefully this machine will be worth it. But that's my next step is to get this installed. This is the parts diagram from the Toro website. And you can see this is what I'm working with right here. So here is the old one and you can see the O-ring is still in there. So you can see it right there. And basically this bearing had been shot for quite a while so it wallowed this out real bad. So my new O-ring is going to go right in there. 
and pretty straightforward. It just kind of sits in there. So that's that. So there's that Zerk, that's got to come out for this to go in. This inner O-ring right here wants to go up against here. Taking a look here at the exploded diagram, there's that O-ring that I just talked about. There's the bearing, and there's another O-ring right there. And then this is the the cone something or other, but that's still on there in these two spacers here. So there's number nine and eight is back there, so I didn't touch those. So all I need is or number five, that was number five. All I need is, is number nine here, which is this O-ring right here. Not much of an O-ring, but that'll go on there. And then the whole thing should slide into the housing. So let's see if we can get that going here. Here I'm trying to jam a spacer in between the chain tensioner and get it to release the tension so I can get the sprocket on later. So that little spacer right there seemed to work pretty well. This is what I'm trying to get together here is to get that spline on this sprocket here. So I'm not really sure how to do this. I guess I'm just going to play with it a little bit and see if I can get it to go in there. Look at that. So I just got that sprocket to slide on there. And I just had to wedge a little bit wider there, so I put a couple screwdrivers in there. All right, well, looking at the diagram, I forgot a spacer behind here. So now you can see that that is out a little bit further. So now I'm ready to get my flat washer and castle nut back on there. There we go. And there's your castle nut there. So 
So we'll get that back together. All right, next we have this cover right here. And I did buy a new O-ring for it. There's my old O-ring. This isn't that critical that it gets sealed up really well. It's got some real thick grease in there. So I'm not terribly concerned about it, but I did go ahead and order another O-ring just for the heck of it. So this little plate here, I guess you're going to get it started and then drop it into place. Okay, that wasn't bad. Okay, before I get too far with this, get this cover back on, I want to just give it a try and see if it works. Okay, it seems like it works. So this housing is supposed to take some kind of special fluid. It's like a real thick grease. So I'm going to see if I can find that and then I'll get everything, get the cover back on there and get everything back together. This bolt right here is, there's a, this handle allows you to adjust and loosen up this bolt and then adjust the height of your wheels here but when I was taking it off the bolt broke off in the handle so I've got a new bolt here I need to get this broken piece out of here so I think I'm gonna try to drill it out and use an easy out or I could I could weld a nut onto it maybe I'll try welding a nut onto it and see how that does Now another problem I've got is these, I guess there was something here that, that would hold them and lock them in place, but there's, there's nothing now. And so I think part of it was whatever is broken off right in there. So I think there's some handles, some threaded handles that are supposed to go in there somehow. But I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use these existing holes here and just drill a hole through here and put a pin in it. I think that'll work pretty well. These just pretty much hold. Uh, let it run along the surface there. So I think that's what I'm going to do with that is try to drill these out. That's pretty thick metal though.
This is the grease, zero, zero grease. I've never heard of this before, but this is what the owner's manual calls for in this gearbox. So I found this at Tractor Supply. It seems to be a little bit thinner than regular grease, but thicker than, let's say, gear oil. The last thing over here, with these, these arms here, or these, whatever you call these, I ended up drilling another hole here, so I can either set the, set the pin here, and that gives you maybe about 10 inches of space between the wheel and the drum, or I put it closer to where the original pin was and drilled another hole. So these were some these were some pins that I got over at Tractor Supply. I hope that these are gonna work. So yeah that's gonna work. So right there that's how that's gonna be now for for me using this. Okay. All right, the last thing I think with this Harley rake is going to be the wings. These are what's used for, you can set this either way. I do have one pin here, but those are, those are used to, to maintain a little pile of dirt right there. And so <clears throat> that is the last piece to make this thing complete. One on each side over here. I think this will be a great addition and I also got a Harley rake for my big skid steer as well so I'm excited to get some more grading jobs and get this out and and see how it works I think it's going to be a lot better than just trying to use a bucket <laughs>